are the causes of these kinds of ankle problems? Why do your patients have these problems? So I think it makes sense that if I have a weak anterior compartment, so weak pretibial muscles, I might not be able to pull my foot up. So let's say I have a perineal nerve injury, or let's say I have a cyst on my perineal nerve, and it doesn't work. My foot doesn't come up. The primary reason for that is weak pretibial muscles. A weak calf is a huge problem, and we should all now, by now know that the calf is highly active during gait once your tibia moves past neutral. So if my, if my calf is not strong, I'm going to create a whole host of, of deviations at my ankle. I might also have a contracture. I might also have hypertonicity. So be sure and check for those things. Be sure and check and see if there is any variation in the tone. Is there too much tone? Is there not enough tone? Evaluate that in your assessment and also make sure that the patient has range of motion. Remember, I need 10 degrees of dorsiflexion and 15 degrees of plantar flexion for typical walking. Most people don't lose plantar flexion range, they lose dorsiflexion range. So evaluate that every single time you look at your patient. The other thing you might see that causes ankle problems, and we've all had this problem, your heel hurts. So it changes the mechanics. That might cause my heel to be off at mid stance just because it hurts. So these are just some of the problems that might result in ankle impairments or ankle deviations on the gait form. <music>